Hello, welcome to Modern Fortran by Example. This is just going to be a short series of a few videos, uh, maybe giving you a feel for Fortran and how to use it. Um, I just go ahead and do a Google search and look up for more, look up more specifics on each of the topics I'm going to go over because I'm not going to cover them very thoroughly. This is just again to get you a feel for how to use Fortran. All right, so uh, what I have here is just a text editor. I'm using VI Editor because it colors the text. Just, you know, use whatever one makes you happy. Uh, and I've called my file particle.fo3. Uh, the FO3 is for Fortran 2003. Uh, there's also a 90, a 95. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much at this point as long as you don't, you know, go back and call it something associated with Fortran 77 because it's might not work then. All right, so this is just the basic layout of a Fortran program. That's going to start with program and the name of the program. In this case, I called it particle, and I'll go over why in a, in a minute. Uh, then it needs to end with end program and whatever the name of the whatever you call the program. Uh, this implicit none here just means that there aren't going to be any variables in the program that aren't explicitly given a type. Um, I'll get into that more later. So it doesn't need to be there, but it's a it's kind of a quality control. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a comment on the top here. And to do that in Fortran, you use an exclamation point. And I'm gonna write the question that I'm gonna answer, which is how fast will a sand size particle fall through water? Okay, so when the compiler sees this exclamation point, it's going to ignore everything on the line after it. Okay, so first I need an equation and this is it right here. Uh, this is the equation you get when uh, you do you know force balance on a particle of water fall a particle of sand falling through water and then solve for velocity. Uh, the variables are velocity, uh, the density of the solid which is going to be sand, the density of the liquid, the diameter of the particle, gravity and viscosity. So what I need to do is get values for all these and assign them to variables. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is write real and two colons. A real is just telling Fortran what type of variable this is going to be. And a real is like a floating point in C or I mean any other language. Uh, there's different types of reals but maybe I'll get into that more later. Um, and if you don't know, that's just, I mean, it's basically any number that's going to have a decimal point at the end. That's the simplest way to say what it is. All right, so rho sub s was the particle density, and I'm going to assign that the value 2.7. And it's grams per centimeter cubed. And I just like to put comments off to the side saying what my variables are and what units I'm using that way. It reminds me, and then, you know, if there's a mistake later with the units, I can go back and check them. All right, and the next thing I need is uh, the water density, which is going to be 1.0. Can't type today. Grams per centimeter cubed. All right, and what else do I need? Uh, the diameter, the particle, gravity, and viscosity. So I'm going to say the diameter of the particle is uh, one one hundredth of a centimeter. All right, and the acceleration due to gravity, uh, which is going to be 981 because I'm using centimeters. That's centimeters per second squared. Right, then the viscosity. And this is in centipoise. Um, I'm just going to put the base units in, which is grams per centimeter second. And if you don't know viscosity, it's just uh, the resistance to flow of a liquid, which, you know, how, I don't know how sticky it is. Okay. And the only other thing that I need is uh, velocity. 
and I need to calculate velocity because that's what I'm trying to find. And I'm not going to put anything else on this line other than the comment saying what what the variable is. Okay, I just I just need to let Fortran know that it's going to be a floating point. So now I'm ready to go ahead and come down to this next line and plug all these variables in and calculate v. So go back to the equation, add rho sub s minus rho sub l. times diameter squared times g. Okay. And an exponent in Fortran is just two asterisks. So this right here is d squared. And now that I have everything in the numerator, I like to go ahead and put that in its own parentheses. It's not always necessary, but it will cuts down on mistakes. Right, then the denominator is 18 times the viscosity. Okay, so uh, what I've done here so far is put a comment in saying uh, what the program's doing, or reminding me what the program's doing. I'm telling uh, Fortran to start, the, I'm starting the program with this line. Uh, the implicit none is telling it that all of these variables down here are all going to explicitly be given a type which I've given them the type real which is a floating point I've assigned these values to uh, these variables here and put comments off to the side saying what they were right, then I calculated V well I cal basically I calculated this expression over here and I assigned it to the variable V and then I ended the program but the last thing I want to do before I end the program is go ahead and tell this to to print the variable v and that's just going to print it to the screen so I'm going to go ahead and save this again I saved it as particle.fo3 and like, like I mentioned before you can call it f90 or f95 it uh, won't make too much difference alright so the next thing I need to do is go ahead and compile this so here's my file here I'm just going to use the G4Tran compiler. You can just go ahead and Google whatever you know compiler you want to use. There's a couple free, good free ones out there, and this is a good one. So next, I'm going to put in the name of the file, which is this, and then I'm going to have it output uh, particle. Okay, and it's telling me permissions denied because I didn't become the super user. Okay. You may or may not have to do that. Uh, <laughs> definitely not if you're uh, if you're running on Windows or something. So let me go ahead and list all the files I have in the directory now. So it created this this file card called Particle, and I can go ahead and run that, and it's printed out the value of v that it calculated. So the velocity that a sand-sized particle falls through water is 0.9265 blah 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 centimeters per second. So again that's just a quick introduction. Um, so we learned how to do comments, uh, program structure, how a program is structured, how to assign values to variables, uh, a certain type of a certain type of variable which is real in this point, uh, how to do a calculation and how to print to screen. And that's it for this video. I uh, hope you learned something. And take care.